Hi, today I'd like to talk about fitness and technology, or the lack thereof. Now before this video gets more dislikes than this channel has subscribers, I'd like to take a moment to clarify what I mean before I talk in this video. What I am talking about is not meant to be construed as me making fun of people who are into technology, but who are not in good health or who are out of shape. That is not what I'm trying to do. What I don't like and what I am targeting with this video is the culture, is the idea, is the actual encouragement to be out of shape if you are in the world of technology. It's the actual pride that is taken in making poor health choices and poor life choices because you are into technology. Now, I know where a lot of this comes from because a lot of the people who are into technology are geeks or nerds or people who were made fun of in junior high school and high school because they weren't that good at sports. I don't know why it happens this way. It just so happens that a lot of the people who are into technology just so happen to be people who are really not good at, you know, a lot of the things that you know we valued as kids like you know being able to kick the ball over the fence or being able to you know run fast or being really well hand eye coordinated so when we're adults it's kind of like as a coping mechanism in order to get over that we kind of take pride in the things that we were not good at as children whereas being a little bit overweight as a kid would have gotten you made fun of as an adult who's an avid technologist now you have the ability to use your skills to use what you're good at to make three hundred or five hundred thousand dollars a year to make yourself feel a little better a lot of people kind of uh, think about, oh, well, you know, oh, I'm not in the best of shape, but who cares? I'm good at what I do. It's that idea of the coder or the programmer that sits there all day working while drinking coffee instead of eating meals. It's the idea of the bug tester or the product developer that is eating Cheetos instead of meals and the idea that you're sitting doing a 14-hour workday with no time for the gym and you're kind of proud of that because it's a part of who you are. And one of the things that I don't like about this and that I try to take into account with my own life is I look at all the things that I'm proud of and I'm happy for that. I'm happy that I'm me. I'm happy to be amazing at what I do, but I also am honest about the flaws. There are a lot of things that I'm not good at and there are a lot of things that I can improve. And while I take the good with the bad, I am also honest enough with myself to notice the bad and try my best to root it out. I don't simply say I'm proud of the bad because it comes with me and I come with the good. No. And it's again, it's that idea that because I am into technology, because I am an IT person, because I am an electronics technician, it is actually okay and encouraged and cool that I have high blood pressure, that I have high cholesterol as a result of eating really, really bad meals and as a result of never, ever exercising. If you have health issues that make it difficult for you to exercise, that make it difficult for you to keep in good shape, I am not here to make fun of you at all. You could be in terrible, terrible shape so long as you have an idea and an encouragement inside of you to strive for better, I'm for you, I'm happy for you, and I'm not here to make fun of you. Again, what I am making fun of is this idea that it is okay to be out of shape if you are into technology. I am very much into technology. Whether it was setting up Linux IP tables, routers 10 or 15 years ago for fun, or whether it's tinkering with electronics and doing component level board repair now. I am very much, I very much consider myself to be an avid technologist, to be an avid electronics technician, to be an avid computer person, but at the same time, I also take time out of my day to eat. I also take time out of my day to research what would be healthy for me. I also make decisions, even when it's difficult to make them based on what I should consume so that I can stay in good health. I'm not exactly a fan of drinking vegetable juice instead of eating a full course meal, but I do it because I know it will contribute to having a clear mind and a good body. I am not exactly a fan at the end of a 12 hour workday of going to the gym for an hour and then going running outside for half an hour, but it contributes to having a sound body and having a sound body helps me be more confident, it helps me have more energy, and it helps me with my mind. A a lot of people say, well, that's kind of vain. Why do you bother with that time at the gym? Why do you torture yourself by drinking this garbage instead of eating meals that are going to taste good? Why don't you treat yourself to all of these things? Because it's fun and it's interesting. And you know, you, why do you care so much about how you look? Especially since, again, a lot of you can joke, I ain't no Brad Pitt. The idea is this. All of you like having nice tools, right? You like having nice tools to do your work. You like having a nice work area. You like having a nice workbench. And when I ask people why it's because I use this every day.
I sit in this chair every day. I want it to be a good chair. I use this soldering iron every day. That's why I have top of the line hacko tweezers. I use this rework machine every day. That's why I have this man corp or whatever it is that you have. You use your body every day. You use your body every single morning that you decide I'm going to get up instead of stay in bed. Use your body every time you decide I'm going to go and buy this instead of continue living with the crap that I have right now because I'm too lazy to get up. This is what you go through life in. So shouldn't you put more time and more effort into ensuring that this is as good as it could possibly be than the time that you put into your soldering equipment and the time that you put into your screwdrivers. I see people that have the most beautiful set of Wera and Weha two screwdrivers where they will actually contact the manufacturer and make them live up to their warranty. When the tip dies on some of those Weha screwdrivers that have a lifetime warranty, they will contact Weha and tell them, I want this replaced under warranty. But they won't take one step out of their day. They won't take one minute out of their day to focus on their own fitness or their own health. They won't get a green juice to drink in the morning instead of their Cheetos for breakfast. And this I don't understand. Because if you think that your tools are important to your work and your work is important to your life, how important is your actual body to your life? How much better are you going to feel when you can run a mile and at the end of it, instead of going, <laughs> you can go, Whew. and just sit down and go to work like it ain't nothing but a thing. You're going to feel better about yourself when you get yourself into better shape. And I'm not saying that you got to look like Brad Pitt. I'm not saying that you got to look like Christy Brinkley when she's 60. All I'm saying is that you should focus on having a mindset where you actually focus on being in shape and focus on making your body the best it can be within realism and to be honest with yourself about what you're doing and how you're treating yourself and how your fitness routine is going and how your nutrition routine is going. Do you eat well every day? or do you consume garbage? Do you exercise as often as you can? Or even every day when you get a chance? Or do you is your only exercise getting up from your chair to go to the bathroom? It is okay to be a technologist and be in shape. Just because you are in shape does not mean you're going to be any worse at what you do. And I strongly believe that being out of shape, I strongly believe that having a terrible diet is not something that we should take pride in. It's not something that we should brag about. It's not like I should be reading posts on Twitter where people are going, oh, got to redo this thing on Python so that it'll work in this platform. Guess that's another three gallons of coffee I'm going to be drinking today. How about for energy, you actually go out there and drink a green juice and get beyond how bad it tastes for the first five minutes? Because I'm telling you, it, it it's, it's going to taste bad. I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to taste bad after two or three years of drinking it. But how you feel when you're done with that, how well my mind works, how well my body works, how well everything is going so that I can get everything done that I got to get done in a day, in big part, is due to the nutrition. If I had a crap diet, if I never exercised, I would actually start to feel worse. When you figure out that you lost $30,000 over the course of a day, when you find out that you're getting fined maybe $90,000 in one day for things that you didn't even do, you need to have a body and you need to have a mind that are in tip-top shape so that you feel your best so that you don't let the day wear down on you. When I have 10 or 20 or up to 30 boards I have to do in a day because a large customer decided to mail all this stuff in and I'm the only one doing them, my mind has to be in tip-top shape in order to get this done. And I stay in tip-top shape by putting, at the very least, an equal amount of effort into my body and an equal amount of time into ensuring that I'm in shape that I put into making sure that I have the screwdrivers and the power supplies and the parts and the soldering equipment that I need. If you have the time to put into picking out a TV that you're going to use to show schematics, if you have the time to put in to buying a bench power supply that you feel is good for you, take that 20 or that 30 minutes of research that you spent that day and put that into finding nutrition that is good for you. Put that into finding things you can eat that is not the crap that you get at McDonald's jack-in-the-box. Find food that is actually going to give you energy. Find time to exercise so that the next day you can actually feel good. I'm telling you, it is really, really empowering to know that right now, if I wanted to, that I could actually run from Bed-Stuy to my store in the East Village of Manhattan, and I could get to work, and I'm not going to feel like I just got run over by a truck. It's an empowering feeling, it's a good feeling, and it contributes to my overall well-being and my overall confidence. And that overall well-being and confidence 
is what helps me solve the problems that life throws at me. I know that I'm in damn good shape, and the few people in this industry that have had the luxury of being able to date me and walk through a museum with me while they're hanging off of my arm know damn well that this is true. And the thing about it is this, it actually gives me the confidence that I need knowing that I've cared about myself, knowing that I've put time and effort into my body and my mind, into proper nutrition and proper exercise, knowing that I've cared about myself empowers me to care about other devices. It is difficult for me to care, it is difficult, it is difficult for me to solve the unsolvable problems, to figure out ways around the $90,000 fine for things that I didn't do, for me to figure out how to fix a board when I know damn well that by touching it I have destroyed it. It is easy for me to dig myself out of these rabbit holes when I know that I have taken care of myself, when I have the confidence that comes from knowing that I have taken care of myself. It is easier for me to take care of others. It's hard for me to care about a device or a problem when I look in the mirror and I can honestly say to myself, I don't even care about myself. It's not about having a body that looks like Triple H or Brad Pitt or Angelina Jolie or Christy Brinkley. It's not about having the idealized model body. It's not about vanity. It's about the simple basic mindset of taking time to care about yourself because when you care about yourself, it makes it that much easy to care about other things in your life. I am definitely in good shape, but I'm not going to lie about that. I know I'm in good shape. I know I can run for a long period of time. I know I can sprint really fast, and I know that I can lift good portions over my own body weight. But that is not the point. The point is the mindset. I want to see more people putting time and effort into being in shape. And at the very least, if you're not in shape, if you're not at a point where you could look at yourself and say, I'm happy with my body, I'm happy with my mind, I'm happy with my nutrition, at the very least, if you're there and you know that there's probably not much you can do about it. At the very least, if you're there and you know that you're not doing much about it, try not to actually take pride in the negative. Don't take pride in the things that are actually wrong. Be able to be honest with yourself and realize this is fucked up because there are times where for one or two weeks at a time, I ate like garbage. I didn't spend any time on my body. And while I didn't berate myself for it, while I didn't beat myself down over it and feel like crap, at the same time, I did not allow myself to go, yeah, I'm a technician. It's okay that I ate garbage from this bodega that's microwaving it every single night for two weeks because I was getting out of work at two in the morning. That's not something to be proud of. That's not something that's going to contribute to your overall health and well-being, and that's not something that I suggest you do. Take some time out of your day. At the very least, match the amount of time that you spend researching parts vendors. Match the amount of time that you spend returning your screwdrivers. Match the amount of time you spent researching solder equipment. Match the time that you spend picking out furniture for your office. Match that time with your own personal nutrition and your own personal fitness. Because if your equipment deserves it, if your tools deserve it, if your skill set deserves it, then you your body deserves it as well.